Okay, so now we're completed this test, you can see that all the test membranes have run. Most of them have now cleared the background, so the pink dye osmotically has travelled all the way up and uh, settles in the handle end with the coating on. What you can see here is some really nice clear control lines. The control line is the line that forms nearest the handle end, furthest away from where the sample has been added, and shows that sufficient sample has been added and absorbed by that test membrane. And then for your interpretation of results, you're looking for the test line to have formed, which is the line forms nearest the bottom of the uh, tube where the saliva has been added. So here we are looking at all negative results, two lines forming on all six membranes. You will notice that there is some variation in the colour thickness and density and clarity of the background in some of these test membranes. That's perfectly normal. If this was to be left now for a further five to ten minutes the backgrounds would go completely white. The test and control lines do become fixed for a period of time. Uh, they can uh, be recorded either photographically or using a photocopy if it's rotated um, and the backgrounds should be completely clear at around 10 minutes, which is the specified read time for most of these tests. An invalid test result, as demonstrated on this uh, sample here, would be an absence of a control line. If there is no control line, even if there are test lines showing, you must not interpret that result. It's an invalid result, and you must repeat the test with a uh, further sample. So that is UK drug testing 6-in-1 saliva tube test. This one screens, as we demonstrated, for six drugs, giving nice, clear, easy results within five to ten minutes.